Hello everyone, this is Karen Charles from my sewing room in Vermont. And today I'm going to share with you how easy it is to make this basket for your thoughts. The one that I've got my I'm showing you right now, that is made with two 15 inch squares of fabric. And the larger one I use two 16 inch squares of fabric. It's very rare that we actually can make a project with only a couple of pieces of fabric. And that's what I think is the funnest part of this. So you'll notice here I have two pieces of fabric that I used and on the back of one of them I have ironed on Inspira Fusible Fleece. You can also use Inspira So Soft Fusible Batting. And we're going to put the right sides together. And before we go to our sewing machine, it's a good idea to mark the area where you want to leave open. We're going to start sewing about three inches on one side from the corner sew and stop and pivot. It's a good idea if you stop with your needle down and then come back to about three inches before even opening. After we're finished that, we're going to come back from our sewing machine. We're going to flip our fabrics right side out so both sides are face out. And then I'll show you the next part of this. I do like to recommend Adding some quilting, whether free motion or just with regular sewing, adds a little bit of body to your bowl and you'll be happier with the look. Fold the fabric in half. The printed fabric should be inside and the fold is down at the bottom. You should put a mark three inches up from the fold and one inch along the bottom base of the fold and then draw a line to go across. I was sewing this with the Designer Epic 2, so I use the laser. But if you don't have that, then make sure to draw a line so you can have it straight. Now, if you'd like your bowl or your basket to be a little uh, deeper and to be a little steeper, you can sew along the edge here and that will give you a completely different look. Every measurement you change will change the shape of your bowl. The final step in your project is sewing these corners down and adding buttons. You'll see in this example that I have, it's ready to go. I like to use the button sew on foot, but there's many ways of doing it. You can also sew the buttons on by hand. To sew a buttonhole into place, depending upon your machine, you may use a zigzag. Most Husqvarna Viking machines have a special setting to sew a button on. And it's gonna look like this one right here. When I touch it, You'll heard that sound. That's the sound of the feet tees dropping. And most of our top of the line machines, the feet tees drop automatically. If they don't, you will need to manually lower the feed tee. You'll notice on the bottom, we have where it says 3.0. That's how wide the zigzag is. And, this, and that's gonna let the needle go into the left and right opening of the buttonhole. And where you see the number eight, that is how many times the needle's gonna go back and forth. And if you would like it to stitch it more often, you can touch the plus and add more stitching to it. Over on sewing foot, it comes with like a little tool that you use to pick up the button. Take it into place. There, the button's in there. And now I'm just gonna guide it. It's important to not have the thread in the way when you're putting it in. So I've adjusted it and now I'm ready to start sewing. I've taken the accessory tray off of my machine so I can use the free arm and I'm going to put this into place, ready to sew my next button. If you're not sure if the button is in the correct place, turn your hand wheel down and then turn it again and the needle should go into both holes very easily without rubbing against it. Once you're sure you have the right position, then put your foot on the pedal and slow and easy. And it stopped after 16 repeats. And now I can touch the selective thread cutter. It'll cut the top thread and pull the tail down to the bottom. And now I'm gonna lift my foot up and pull the button out. I hope you enjoyed this project and I look forward to sharing many more with you. So join me again next time.